is descriptive statistics and ratio. And that's going to cal this is going to calculate the coefficient of variation for the five point uh, Likert data. So I need to put that in the numerator, and I put the variable one in the denominator. And then I go into statistics, I deselect these options, and then I click mean centered coefficient of variation. Then I click continue, and I click OK. And SPSS outputs the coefficient of variation for uh, total scores for a five point Likert scale. So it's saying 9.1. Now let's actually look at this at a greater decimal place, because I'm going to verify this to be accurate based on the standard deviation and the mean. So 9.0964. So if I divide this standard deviation by the mean, you will see that hopefully that actually comes out. So 26.319 divided by the mean 289.34 and then times 100. So 9.962 9.964. So within rounding, it's the same uh, same value. So that's how you can do a coefficient of variation quickly in SPSS by doing uh, this trick. And I could do it also for the other the other um, the seven point Likert scale data. All right, and now I get 11.0. So that's how you calculate the coefficient of variation for a variable. You just have to calcu calculate the one variable and then just keep repeating the process in the ratio analysis. Now, a question that I've often asked, asked myself is, once you calculate the coefficient of variation and you get it, get it for two different variables, well, what if you want to know if one is statistically significantly greater than the other? Now, in this case, it looks like the seven point data are associated with greater levels of coefficient of variability controlling for the difference in the means. But I don't know if it's statistically significant or not. 9.09 .09 versus 11.0. Is that statistically significant? Well, there's a way of testing that for statistical significance. And the way you do it is you actually use the Levine's test of homogeneity of variance in a slightly modified way. Uh, and the way I'm going to demonstrate this is on a, sl a sl slightly different data set. What I've done is I've actually grouped my variables, uh, my two five-point and seven-point data. I've grouped them as if they are between subject data. So my data here is exactly the same as it is here, but I've put the seven-point data underneath the five-point data. Okay, so two, tw 291.95 is the are these data here. So I just put that underneath the other one. And to be honest, I actually had to do it in Excel because I find copying and pasting in SPSS just doesn't work in version 19. Uh, I had to copy and paste these into Excel and then copy and paste underneath each other, putting the seven point data underneath in Excel and then taking the data in Excel and putting it back here. It's, I, don't, it does, I don't know if anyone else is having that problem, but I cannot copy and paste in SPSS. It's a major pain in the butt. Okay, so once you've got your data more into a um, between subjects design rather than a within subjects design, you're going to have to have a grouping variable, so the ones demarcate the five point data and the twos demarcate the um, seven point scale data, Likert scale data. Now I need to calculate uh, the mean for each group. I've already done that. I know what the means are, I've done it, but I don't want to have to hand input that into the uh, SPSS spreadsheet. So, But there's a quick way of doing it, because I'm going to have to calculate Levine's test here. If you don't know what Levine's is, I encourage you to check out my video on Levine's test and homogeneity of variance, where I go into detail about what it is and how to do it. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to calculate the mean. So I'm going to go into data and aggregate and I'm going to calculate a mean variable um, for my, whoops, this is the wrong data set. I want this one here. I'm actually going to close this down because I'm not going to need it anymore. OK, so now that I've got my group data, I'm going to in go into data, aggregate, and I'm going to aggregate my total group data. And I'm actually going to, whoops, that's wrong. I'm going to put that into there, summary variables. So it's going to calculate a mean. That's the default. You've got other options. You can do the median, the sum, standard deviation, and other things too. So total grouped mean, 
and I'm going to break it across group. And this is going to calculate a new variable